All right, welcome back, guys. With Global Game Jam quickly approaching us here, I wanted to take a minute to go over uh, version control and a way that you can share your project uh, between uh, your teammates. So uh, Unity DevOps is a technically a separate service from Unity Cloud, and it's dealing with uh, different kind of uh, backend services for your project. Uh, this includes uh, version control, uh, cloud build, and uh, build automation. But we are going to be focusing on the version control here. And uh, I guess the first thing to actually go over is kind of the pricing of this. Uh, there is a free tier and there is a pay as you go kind of tier as well. So it is free for the first uh, three people that are, are using it. And beyond that, it is uh, $7 per seat uh, until you get above 15 seats. And then it is $15 per seat beyond that. So I think it's kind of unfortunate that it is so low for the free tier. Um, I think a four or five on the free tier would be perfect, especially for game jams. But it is what it is. Um, and also uh, the storage. So as long as your project is under five gigabytes, it is free. Uh, and then above that, it is um, this size here. And I think for uh, most of our projects, it is like at 20 gigs, I think. And I think it's, it's something like $5 a month or something like that. Uh, so yeah, that is the pricing. And getting this set up in cloud, you will go down into, from the dashboard, you'll go into DevOps, and then you'll see version control here. And version control has separate organizations from your uh, cloud organizations. If you had a organization set up prior to uh, Unity version control getting rolled into the cloud, you will have a um, organization built for you. I messed up and made a separate organization here uh, that has all of our my newer projects in it. So from here, uh, when you create a new project, we'll go over that in a second in the hub, you can check out your repository and this is the, all of the files that's in your project. Here are the seats. So when you uh, join up with your various teammates, this here is where you will assign uh, seats from uh, your main org, or you can uh, just type in someone's email address and hit uh, assign seats and this will add them to the project. They'll get an email invite. They open up their email and accept the invite and then they'll be able to uh, download the project. You also have various user groups. So if you want to have uh, admins and regular developers or artists who have varying levels of permissions, you can, you can do that. And there's a lot of permissions that you can assign and or revoke, but generally for a small team, it's not really necessary. Uh, there's also the usage reporting. This is just if you uh, go over the free tier, this will show you how much uh, you'll be charged for the month. Uh, there are also integrations uh, that you can set up for Slack and Discord and other uh, webhooks that you can have different notifications like for, uh, we can look here, uh, will it? I uh, don't wanna go through that right now. But there are uh, different notifications you can set up for like a Discord channel whenever a um, commit gets pushed up or a code review or whatever is assigned, then you'll get notifications in uh, the Discord for different events. All right, all right. So here in the Unity Hub, we're in the latest version of the Hub here at uh, 3.7.0. Here, when you make a new project, you can come down here in the project settings after you give it a name and everything. You'll choose your cloud organization here. So here we've got Memphis Game Devs and you can check here, use Unity version control. And then this will create a Unity version control organization if you don't already have one, uh, like here in my, this one here. Uh, there's not one created, so you would just need to make one for you. You just have to, it just has to have uh, no spaces and um, no underscores either. But we're just going to set it here, use version control. We need to choose a server location. When you create 
create one, just make sure that it is a central location to your uh, where you're located. All right. And after you have that installed, um, you will if you're on a earlier version of Unity, uh, you might have to go into the package manager and install the latest version of version control, which is down here. Currently, it is version control 2.2.0. All right, after you have that installed, you can either open the window for version control here with this little uh, hexagon icon here, or you can go into window and Unity version control. Uh, so this editor window here will show you all of your pending changes, incoming changes, uh, the change sets, which are the individual commits that you and your team do, uh, and the branches. We can make a change here. We can say drop this down to eight or something. Here we go. And now we see our pending change here. Uh, you should always, uh, when you make a change, and you check it in, you'll want to uh, put a decently descriptive commit message here so you and your other teammates will know why you did the thing that you did. And we'll just say like lowered ball spawn, spawn speed to eight. We can right click on our change item and check the diff here so we can see exactly what has changed just so you know. You can also for things that may have changed that you weren't intending to change, like sometimes the uh, some of the scriptable object assets uh, end up getting changed for Unity reasons, and you might not want that committed every time. Uh, but once we uh, have our description here, we'll check in, there we go, and yeah, like this uh, package asset, you can right click and we can, uh, I guess we can't add to ignore list. Eh, we can see what actually changed here. They're identical. Yay. So we can just uncheck that. That's fine. Uh, for your teammates, when you check something in, they will see incoming changes uh, where they can update their workspace and download any changes. Uh, we'll see our change list here uh, for our change set and then our branches. So the branches here, um, it is a best practice uh, for Plastic SEM uh, specifically that they suggest that you do a branch for every task that you're doing. Uh, so for that like balance change we did, uh, you could create a child branch here and then you would name this like, um, you know, balancing ball spawns, right? And then the comments would be like, um, you know, adjusting speed until it feels right. So you would create a branch. Well, we've got pending changes. We can undo these. And then once you are done, uh, I think we actually have to go into the, go into the, okay. So this is the uh, main desktop app for Unity version control here. You can also get to this from the cog menu here where it says open in desktop app. This will give you a lot more um, options than you can from the Unity editor here. So this gives us the um, branch explorer here. We also have like labels and attributes. You can do code reviews. So if for this change here, we would right click and then a uh, new code review for this branch. So if you have, you know, a partner programmer or whatever, they can review your code, make sure everything's legit, make suggestions or whatever, and then they can merge this back into the main branch. So we could merge from this branch or just branch to the main branch. And actually I didn't make any changes, so I'm not sure how that's actually gonna work. And then we can switch back to the main branch here and then say this actually ended up breaking everything. What we did, we can revert back. We can revert to change set. So we can go back to, into our ball spawner here and it is back to 10. And then here we can just say, uh, uh, reverted changes from feed eight back to 10. Feed eight broke everything. And here you would probably put in exactly, you know, the errors you were getting and what broke or whatever. And we can see this back in our branch explorer, everything that kind of happened here. This uh, pink arrow is the uh, subtractive merge, which is what, what they call reverting here. All right, and I think that is basically it. Um, we can 
and take a look at the main app again. And you can switch from the full uh, Unity uh, version control here back to uh, Gluon, uh, which is kind of a stripped down version of the main app, uh, mainly for artists and non-programmer types. So they just need to deal with their assets and that's it. Uh, you can switch to Gluon here. You can see the uh, icon here change to orange. You can uh, choose your organization here. You can open it back up. Uh, this always shows up here. And now um, if you are an artist looking for your models or textures or the sound guys doing audio, uh, they can just hear check things out and check things in uh, just all, all from here. And they really don't even have to open up Unity uh, if they don't need to actually run the game. So you would say for, you're messing with the hand models, you would click configure, you can check out, do your changes, and then check them back in. And if you need to switch back, you can switch back to Unity VCS and it still gives you that warning. Uh, but yeah, and I think that is it. Uh, like I said, there were uh, plugins that you can use to uh, import tasks and whatnot from your um, task management system, like if you're using Jira or Trello or whatever. Uh, there are plugins you can find for uh, any of the ones that, that you prefer to use. I don't have any installed right now, uh, but there are some for uh, Codex is the one that I've been using lately. But yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions or whatnot, definitely leave a comment below. Uh, and yeah, feel free to uh, join us in Global Game Jam. Pull up the site here. We're here in the Memphis area. Um, we will be joining up together on Friday for the keynote and forming up teams and whatnot. And it is going to be a good time. You can feel free to join us online as well. We'll be on our Discord, uh, which is linked here. Somewhere it should be linked. If not, I'll add the link. All right. So yeah, we will uh, see you guys there and uh, see you next time.